My name is Jamie Tuon Park. I am a painter and sculptor, originally from Los Angeles, but currently based in Brooklyn. I started seriously painting a couple years ago when the pandemic started and I lost all of my senior show sculptures. And I really made an effort to steer away from Western standards of painting and practices of painting and start, started to study minhwa, a traditional Korean folk art. And that really changed my practice and, and it opened up a whole like world of expression that I didn't really have access to initially. Um, and that was really eye-opening for me. And from there, I started really looking at and studying and observing the, the Hallyu, which is the Korean um, cultural wave that has started since you know the 1960s. Um, and observing how that manifests currently and how, thinking about how that might manifest in the future. My practice mainly focuses on highlighting labor, particularly uh, working class uh, women and their experiences in engaging with a changing financial world and technological world. Um, that was the initial start of these kinds of paintings that I, I started creating. I really like to incorporate different materials into my work. Um, I think there is so much beauty that exists that can be combined to create another creation. So I'm really interested in kind of combining my sculptural background with painting and incorporating work, uh, pieces like hanji, which is traditional Korean mulberry paper, and um, newspaper, rice, like rice kernels, kimchi flakes. Just a lot of different kinds of elements that add and incorporate the roots of my culture into these works. I think physically engaging with not just the brush strokes, but actually, you know, in incorporating each piece onto the, and, and painting each separate piece was really, uh, is a really important process for me. Um, the labor that's involved, I think, really helps engage with this meditation that I experienced while painting. This piece actually takes inspiration from Park Seri, who is this legendary Korean golfer. Um, when she was like only 20 years old, she won the US Women's Open in 1998. And that year she was actually the only Korean to enter the US o Women's Open. And after that, um, after she won with this like insane deathmatch swing move, she really inspired a lot of young Korean women to, to take up golfing. And, so this piece, it stems from her show where she creates these like incredible meals at home and occasionally like invites people over to sit and eat with her and things like that. But I just kind of imagine this future where a very self-sustaining woman who like, or a person, not just necessarily woman, um, creates this very lavish meal for themselves and just sits there and, and takes part in it for themselves, not necessarily because they're socially obligated to serve other people or anybody in their family, but because they're choosing to like care to care for themselves. Um, and so this is like my future dream of that. This piece is kind of an homage to all the caretakers that have come before me um, who put in so many hours of thankless labor into serving cut fruit and being um, the caring people that they are. I think the hours, the endless hours of labor kind of um, are often overlooked and I kind of wanted to create this big platter of cut fruit as a Thank, thank you to honor like all of that labor. Um, there are 800 pieces, around 800, just a little bit more, that I have individually cut and painted fruit. Honestly, this like highly labor intensive process was I think the only way to properly pay homage to, to these caretakers.